Hello, everyone. My name is Evan Nazareth, and I'm currently serving as the National Sea Scout Bosun for 2023 to 2024. I'm here today with our National Bosun elect, Gabby Fernands. This is a great moment because we get to share with the world a bit about yourself, hear about the term, and hear about what goals you have coming up. So, are you excited? I am very excited. Um, thank you, Gary, for having me today. I'm so glad I was elected, and I get to share a little bit about myself today. Awesome. So can you share with us how you got into Sea Scouts? Yeah, for sure. It was actually through my school. Um, I was a Girl Scout beforehand. And after I got into high school, they had this volunteer and career fair that they had yearly. And it was in our gym. And I walked into the gym one day and all of a sudden I saw this sailboat sitting in the middle of the gym. And like any person, I see what the heck that colorful sail is doing in a gym. And I went over there and I saw one of my friends was actually there in uniform standing there. And I never knew that about her. I asked her more about the program and found out that they actually do sailing and they do sea scouting stuff. And I was like, that is really cool. I want to join and I want to do that. That's awesome. It's really cool that a friend bought you into the program. Um, so I know you were talking about earlier about how you're working towards your quartermaster rank. Um, so can you tell us more about your project ideas? Yeah, my main idea I have is to actually help our yacht club that we, that I and my ship and a couple others actually run out of. It's the Austin Yacht Club. And right now the paints on the dry slips where our boat is hanging out haven't been painted again in a long time. So I was thinking about getting people out there and help repainting all of those lines to make the the yacht club looks spick and span and fantastic like it should look every single day but that's my heard about project what about yours evan yeah so my quartermaster project was to build a food donation bin and a monetary donation bin for my church so what? i was working on my project in the middle of covid and i was trying to figure out what i wanted to do um, and i noticed that my church was using the top of a recycling bin um, in order to collect money. Um, and I wanted to do something more long term um, so that I could help out the church. Um, additionally, so I made a stand that they could use to collect donations. Um, additionally, I wanted to build something to help out the community. So I thought of the idea of having a food donation bin um, to help gather the parish community together and then donate it to people in need. Um, I actually recently just got texted a picture of my project, which I was really happy about, and it still was in use this past Easter. Um, so it's great to see that it's been used, um, even though that project was done four years ago. That's so cool. It's a lot better than mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're still in the idea stage, and I get that. You're working towards it, um, and that's what matters. So sure. what pushed you to apply for National Bosun? Um, I really wanted to do something new in scouting my ship. I've been working a lot in my ship area and I wanted to see, it's like, oh, let me do something new. And I really like leading people. So I thought that this experience would be a great way to get into a higher level of scouting, get in more into meeting different scouts and all of that. Um, and yeah, it was a great idea to do. And then I got this position. So yeah, you're definitely going to be meeting a lot of Sea Scouts throughout the term <laughs> across the country. Um, mm -hmm. So can you share with us some of your goals for the term? Yeah, my biggest one is to really promote Sea Scouting around. Um, I want to make sure that people see Sea Scouts and know what Sea Scout is. And it's not like the general thing of where I say, oh, I'm a Sea Scout. And they're like, what? What's that? I want them, and especially for Scouts to know what it is. So the big idea to do that is to use the simple thing that everybody's on and use social media to promote sea scouting. So people see that this is kind of cool. Oh, maybe my kid would like this, or maybe I would like this, or someone's going sailing. Ooh, that could be fun. So that's the big thing there is to get promotion of sea scouts using social media and to get more kids into scouting. Awesome, yeah. We definitely love our social media platforms, C Scout Instagram, C Scout Facebook. Those are the places to be to get the latest and greatest. Um, so what has been one of your favorite experiences within the C Scout program? My favorite C Scout experience would have to be actually one recently this past year. And 
we were trying to have a, we had a recruiting event for our ship. We had one of the troops come out and we took them on sailboats. And like most Sea Scout events, not everything went according to plan, which was kind of sad in the moment, but it actually turned out really great. And it was a great thing for everyone to learn. And I found out there that the boating community is such um, a great amount of people. They're so nice because these people that even people that have never seen a sailboat when we were in trouble and we turtled our boat. So it went completely under the water. Um, people were already there saying, do you need help? Do you need a tow? And then these people on a jet skis even ran down, ran with a jet ski down the lake to go get the Rangers so they could come help us. Cause with their boat, they could actually give our boat a tow. And that was a big thing there. And it was so endearing to see the community that was out on the lake come help us scouts out when we needed it most. That's that's fantastic. What overall stands out to you about the Sea Scout program? Overall, I think the Sea Scout community just promotes a lot of good things for scouts in general. You have the biggest thing for me was boosting confidence and stuff like that. So you're able to talk to people that you've never met, talk into a room of people that are hearing things that you're doing, or even something as small as I now know how to tie the reef knot and I can teach that knot to my friend and just learning small things to become big things in the end. Hmm. What about you, Evan? Do you have a favorite Sea Scout experience? Yeah, I would say one of my favorite Sea Scout experiences was sailing on the Coast Guard Bark Eagle. Um, very unique opportunity um, to do through the program. So that's a 295-foot-long Coast Guard ship, um, and it's America's tall ship. And it's an opportunity that's offered through the Coast Guard, but Sea Scouts have um, the ability to take it. Um, go out and learn a lot and really get integrated with the cadets. Um, so basically all of the Coast Guard people who are learning um, for their first year are on that ship going through it for their summer. And this is their on the water experience uh, to be able to do it. And Sea Scouts who sign up for this opportunity get to have that experience with them. So they're divided up into the various divisions and they get to go through and do the activities that the, the cadet that the cadets get to do, um, which is a really unique experience for sure. Um, we got to learn how to use fire hoses, um, tie up different things on the boat, uh, stand, stay on watch um, throughout the engineering room on deck and just a bunch of different things. And the Eagle really is a beautiful ship. Um, we got to sit up in the bow spirit, um, which is like the net of the boat and get to watch the waves go by. And yeah, fantastic. That sounds so cool. I hope a lot of people actually enjoy that and get to do it. Um, that kind of reminds me of the time that I was also on a, it was a retired Coast Guard vessel, so not as cool as the Bark Eagle, but for sure I loved it. And that was taking Point Glass up the, the Texas and into the Intercoastal Waterway, um, the Gulf Coast Intercoastal Waterway, I should say. Um, and over that way, we had such a fun time. It was a girls trip, which was fantastic. And we also learned about the watch and doing all the watches. But my favorite part and a good thing that scouts get to learn was we actually talked on the radio to other boats itself. So we got to say, this is point glass, this is point glass, this is point glass. Um, and we're talking to another boat and saying, which side are they going to pass us on? Oh, we're entering the lock right now and all of the fun stuff that came along with it. And we had a took our traditional picture a couple years back. Another unit from us went and they had everybody was braiding each other's hair. So we recreated that picture of everybody braiding each other's hair, which was very fun and enjoyable. Cool. Well, point glass was a great idea for my scouts to go and it got a lot of pictures that we could post on Instagram and actually got more scouts interested in our ship and recruiting and stuff. But 
that's not always the case. A lot of people have some trouble. Do you have any advice for a ship that's struggling with that recruiting and such? Yeah, for sure. Um, so I would have a couple different suggestions for a ship that is wanting to recruit. Um, biggest one is definitely having presence. I think wearing the uniforms, having a ship social media, going out to the district, council, um, lodge events, helping out with things like that, whether it be camperies, Klondikes, or just fellowship events, um, is really a big thing. Because when they see the blues, they want to they ask, start asking questions. Um, they say, who are these older scouts? How can we be like them? And stuff like that. So another suggestion I would have for that is making sure that your youth and adults um, are aware of the opportunities that exist within the program and that they're involved in them. Um, so different things such as NYLT, Sea Badge, or Wood Badge, um, I would definitely recommend being involved with that, being on staff for those courses, because th that knowledge being transferred into your ship and also spreading the word about the program are great tools and outlets. Um, and my final suggestion would be to hold some to do something that my ship does, uh, which is to hold booths at different events. So we hold booths at Conclave, and that gets a whole bunch of people interested in Sea Scouts, even if it isn't our unit. At least we're connecting them to a unit because we get them to scan things through a QR code and they get to go to be a scout um, and get connected to figure out which Sea Scout ships are around them. Um, or we give them the tools to help start up the ship. Um, another way of doing that is the Eagle Banquet. Um, is another of a big event that we hold the booths at. Um, and that that is a great stage um, because these are older youth who are looking for what to do next. And that it can really get them at the right time so they can look at what they can do past their eagle. Nice. Past their, past their eagle. Oh, you mentioned something about NYLT. Can you talk more about that? Was it a good experience for you? Yeah, so NYLT was a great training. Um, overall, I love the course. And if truly, if you can see it, you can be it. Um, it's one of the huge lessons through um, the experience. And you're able to get so much out of that training. Well, you're a bosun before I am. And I was wondering, what was your favorite experience for your national bosun course and some successes you guys had? Yeah, so my favorite experience, um, I guess, for term was just maybe going out and seeing the different council events um, that we have. So one of the huge event in my council is Davy Jones Rendezvous and being able to be active in that um, really got me to really love the Sea Scout community and watching all the ships come together for that was fantastic. Um, I'd say one of my favorite experiences as bosun for the year um, was definitely the National Jamboree, um, pretty much for similar reasons. Being able to meet members of the National Quarterdeck in person, uh, present on the program, have all our older youth programs featured um, was really awesome and extraordinary. There were a ton of fun activities offered at Jambo, uh, from the Big Zip um, to Beach Bash to Vessie Quest, and it truly was a great experience. Overall, uh, we've had a lot of fun this term and done a lot of things. Um, and I have a great team um, and we've helped to restart and start a lot of different initiatives. We restarted the newsletter this year and the Lookout podcast, as well as supported the return of the National Virtual Sea Scout Academy this year. We had all members of the National Quarterdeck help out with that event. And a lot of scouts sent us thank yous and learned a lot of insightful lessons throughout the course of the week. As far as initiatives we started this year, uh, we made trimester reports, which covered every major event that happened within the Sea Scout program every four months, and we've put out two so far, and we'll put one out before the end of the term. Uh, we facilitated an event called the Sea Scout Social, where we had ships pair together um, and spread knowledge about the program, just have two units come together and learn from each other. Um, we also did a lot of social media initiatives. We featured quartermasters, promoted events, started new ships and council quarter ducks and helped staff a ton of major events throughout the country, including Winterfest in Tennessee and a bunch of different sea badge courses, both online and in person. That sounds like a very successful year that you're having and will continue to have throughout. Yeah, so outside of your one hour a week of scouting, what do you do? What are, your, what are you studying in college? What did you do in high school? What were your hobbies? 
Well, currently I am not in college. I'll be starting in the fall and that's where I plan to um, start classes for nutrition and possibly even botany because I kind of like plants. So I want to learn more about them and everything like that. Currently I'm working as a lifeguard at one of our community pools and for hobbies, I really like to, besides sailing and everything like Sea Scout related, um, I love to bake. I just made some brownies actually t- yesterday too. They're so good. Um, and um, I love doing string crafts. So like bracelets, um, I've done some beading. I got some crochet going on, some knitting, um, anything really crafty. I like to go out and give it a shot, even if it looks a little messy at the start. <laughs> but how about you, yeah. Evan? Um, so yeah, I'm a sophomore mechanical engineering major um, at UNC Charlotte. Um, in high school, I ran cross country and did track and sailing. Um, yeah, and overall now in college, I served as an ambassador for our food pantry. Um, I served as an alternative service break trip leader for um, environmental justice, and I'm a lead um, as the marketing lead for our environment and animals committee for our volunteer group on campus. Um, so really, I just like being active in the community and just doing a bunch of different things to help out. Uh, for fun, I do club archery on campus, and I really enjoy kayaking in my free time, which may be hard to guess. So overall, I know you staffed NYLT. What did you think mm-hmm. of that experience? I did. I loved NYLT so much. Um, I was a troop guide for that and it was such a blast i loved my fellow troop guides we would have a little game throughout the week where if someone said a certain keyword like one day was pineapple we would all go oil slick um and the kids loved it they kept trying to they would randomly shout out pineapple to see if we would do the oil slick but we changed the word every day so they wouldn't get into it and i loved my patrol they learned a whole bunch a lot about leadership and everything like that and they're a great group of guys that I had didn't you you also staffed right yeah I did yeah you so did how did that go I was a, yeah so I was an NYLT SPL um I had a phenomenal course as well um our theme was navigating your north and our participants had a great time learning about the different NYLT leadership skills that they developed throughout the week so my staff was all Sea Scouts or Ventures which was pretty neat um, and overall, I think it was great because it really represented our programs and got a lot of them interested in older youth programs and got them to strive towards something past that because they saw that their role models on staff were Sea Scouts Adventures and they wanted to figure out how they could go and join in um, on adventures and go sailing. Ever since then, yeah, I've run into a ton of participants um, and they really took a lot away from that course. And that's what got them into OYPs. Very cool. That. So you've done some training yourself. So what's been one of your favorite training experiences? Um, besides learning from just regular experience of one day I'm learning how to sail and the next day I'm teaching someone else. Um, I really enjoy not only staffing in YLT, but actually just being a participant on it. And I loved like at the end where our patrol actually started to be in the performing stage of actually getting to know each other and working really well. And that really just got showcased during our pioneering project that we had. Um, It was at the end of the week. And all of it was, is you get these poles and you try to tie them with rope to make a cool structure. Uh, We actually made a, oh, what is it called? It's a sedan chair. It's where you have the two poles together and then you have like a place for someone to sit. And then you would carry those, the person that's sitting around. Um, which caused a little bit of a kerfuffle with everybody else because we had some scouts just going in the air. And at one point we had people like running with the person sitting in the chair. But it was a whole lot of fun. And I learned a lot from that experience. And what about you? Yeah, I would say for me, I really enjoyed NAIL. Um, So I took my course at the summit in 2020. Um, and I took it then because all my other plans got canceled. (laughs) So I was looking at what I could do next, um, as a leader. And I always heard about, uh, and nail through NYLT. And I wanted to take that time since there was nothing else going on to figure out what exactly nail was. 
And I took a lot away from that course because it focused on, focuses on a lot of outdoor activities. We got to do geocaching, wilderness first aid, and search and rescue. And that was really cool um, because we got to put our NYLT skills into practice. And that's what really stood out to me was it was leadership through experience. Mm -hmm. And I really liked the journaling time specifically because it really enforced, enforced the importance of like reflection. So we'd do the journaling every single day. It'd be for 30 minutes. And during the course, I was thinking, why is this important? And overall, um, at the end of it, after doing it each day, I realized and I saw the growth in myself and the overall just our group, just because we were taking the time to learn from each day and how we could apply ourselves better. Nice. Yeah, so overall, you've had a lot of time in scouting um, throughout your years of experience. So what's been one of your favorite memories throughout that? One of my favorite memories throughout the time in scouting was actually with my venture crew. We went out to Florida and we were on a sailboat, which was kind of interesting because most of our people on our venture crew actually haven't sailed, but they're like, let's try something new. Let's do something. And um, half of our crew was also in a ship. So they're like, let's do sailing. That'd be good. So we went down to Florida and we actually got to meet a, another unit down there that does sailing as their big thing. And we got to sail on some of their boats. And it was really cool experience for, for me. It's because I've never sailed before on an ocean. I've only done lake sailing. So having that experience of doing that was really cool. And we got to meet a whole bunch of very cool people out there. They're all very nice. And my favorite part was the, the Yacht Club cat, cat, cat Mia. Um, she was named Mia because she was always missing. So missing in action, the cat Mia. She was very cute <laughs> and everything as such. But yeah, that was my, that's a big one I, I really enjoyed. Yeah, that's a really creative name. I like it. So... Do you have a favorite merit badge um, over your time that you um, got the experience? Oh, of course I do. My favorite merit badge has to be the small boat sailing merit badge. It's what my unit does. We um, actually sail small boats, so about 14 feet are the boats that we sail. Um, and I actually got to teach this merit badge at our summer camp which made it a such a great experience for me as because my I knew what I was doing and so my scouts also got to know a lot faster what they were doing and it was a huge big thing for me is to see these scouts that have never touched a boat to be able to sail on their own and do things as such yeah it really is a fulfilling experience because, yeah, I taught small boat sailing last summer and I can assure you it's really cool watching them actually get out yeah. to get on the water. Um, recently, you undertook something pretty cool. Uh, you got to do a semester at sea. Um, so tell us about your experience. Yeah, for sure. So semester at sea, for those that aren't unaware, is a program for college age students. So I did it as a gap year, but people can do it from a freshman all the way up. And even some people did it when they're already graduated, but it's a program for them. And what they do is they get college credit like any other place, but you do it while you're traveling abroad. So for our voyage, we traveled from Belgium and then we went around Africa to reach Thailand. So you got to see all of these places and all these different cultures and learn about how an actual cruise ship, because it was a cruise ship, work so you got to see the bridge and if you wanted to you could go in and sign up and ask a whole bunch of questions about how the boat works how the engine works how the food is prepared and it was actually kind of cool because I saw things that I learned in Sea Scouts like all the code flags they had them they actually put them in practice they use knots on the boat to tie the boat up to throw your heaving line you needed to learn that so you can get the boat over to the dock so I was seeing all of these sea scout skills shown up in the real world and it's not like something you just learn in a classroom it was there's a reason for it there's a stuff which was actually a very cool experience and I recommend anybody who can do it to give it a shot and try it out yeah for sure and it's really cool to see that 
actually in action. I'm really <laughs> happy that you had that experience. Um, so overall, so what are your, some of your favorite parts of rank advancement? Um, we were just talking about some skills there, um, but are there anything else that stands out to you about the Sea Scout Rank Advancement Program? Yeah, um, besides having like your skills actually being useful in a sense, um, I personally like the way our ship does it. We have a Google Sheet and it has all the requirements on it. And as you go off, you get to see the percentage just go up and tick up a little bit. It's actually, it's very satisfying for me, but it also gives me a goal to reach for, which um, some people, including myself, kind of need is like some direction to start into scouting and going into. So that was helpful. Awesome. So as you're working through your rank advancement journey, you definitely work on yourself as a leader throughout. So what has been one of your favorite experiences as a leader overall as you've gone through the program? Mm -hmm. For sure. My favorite one has been seeing all the kids that I have trained become Intel leaders themselves. So a scout who I took on their boat for the first day so they would know what sailing was. Now I look at them and I see them teaching another scout how to learn how to sail. A kid that had trouble with knots was really struggling on tying some knots. I learned later he went home and he practiced, he was so excited. He practiced, he practiced, he practiced, he practiced. And he came over in our next meeting and was like, Gabby, look, and he showed me how to tie the knot. And then he was like, even better, watch this. And he showed someone else how to tie the knot. And I was like, oh my gosh, you are doing great. And um, another one of my scouts that I was very proud of him for, we had a, a sailing day and the sail day, he completely flipped his boat and his first reaction was not, oh my God, I'm panicking, I'm panicking. He called on the radio, said, our boat has flipped. Everybody is okay. Like that was the first thing he said is I'm okay. My crew is okay. And that was showing me that he was such um, a leader in that point. He knew that he was responsible for those people on the boat and he took care of that right away. And then we got help to him and everybody was good and safe. So that's my big thing is seeing as a leader, everybody else become a leader in themselves. Yeah, that is a fantastic example. And that's really what I love about the scouting program is we get to make leaders out of our scouts. Mm -hmm. um, so overall, what has been one of your favorite high adventure experiences? We have a lot of different high adventure bases. Um, which one was your favorite? My favorite has got to be Sea Base. Um, I went Sea Base Bahamas and I loved it so much. For one, never been to the Bahamas, so a great opportunity there. Um, and it was more sailing on a larger boat. Again, we only sail small boats. So having a bigger boat of like 40 feet, that was really cool. Um, and my favorite part there was eating dinner on Hermit Crab Island. So you're just eating and all of a sudden you just see these hermit crabs trying to get a little little bite of your food there. Um, and even better was after that, we went on a night sailing adventure. Since we have dinghies, they don't have lights, can't bring them on in the nighttime. So getting to sail at night in open waters was such a cool experience. And I wish everybody can get a chance to do that if they can. Yeah, night sails are beautiful. Um, my first one was on my QM cruise, and I, I'll never forget it. Such a, it really is a cool experience. Wow, such a cool experience. Well, I heard you're in the OA, right? So what are cool experiences do you have in that? Yeah, I've had a lot of neat experiences through the Order of the Arrow. Uh, what I really love about it is the fellowship of the OA, uh, whether it be a Conclave or a NOAC, you really just all get to come together and have a good time. Um, I've staffed a bunch of ordeals in my council, probably like 10 or 12 at this point, and I really love running them because we get to watch our candidates become active members of the Lodge and really just take on the lead in the program. And that's what I really love about the Order of the Arrow is that leadership aspect. Um, so I currently do stuff with the National OA Youth Retention Committee, um, and I promote the program there. And yeah, it's a really neat opportunity to be in the OA. And I'm happy now that Sea Scouts recently are allowed to be a part of that as well. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. So you have some interesting plans for this summer. So what exactly do you have coming up? 
Well, of course, for this summer, um, I began my term as national bosun. So that's going to be a big thing we got there. Um, I plan on going to some sea scouting events throughout. And I plan on also visiting the ship in Florida or not Florida, sorry, not Florida in Hawaii, since I'm going over there to visit. Um, so I think that would be a great idea to get started and meeting new people and having new scouting experiences. Yeah, having some scouting experience in Hawaii, I'm sure will be a fun time for sure. Yeah. Well, what about you, Evan? What are you doing this summer? Yeah, um, I'll be doing a bunch of different Sea Scout related things. Um, I'll be helping out at the Sea Scout Academy uh, in our local area. I'll be stopping Nail this summer, which I'm really excited to come back and have that opportunity to serve course, um, probably help out with staff and camp. Um, and then the older youth program conference is coming up this summer um, at Philmont Training Center from July 14th through the 20th. Uh, registration is open for that. And I'm really excited to be there. Hope you're able to join us as well. Um, and then I'll also probably be doing NYLT Leadership Academy and then NOAC afterwards, um, along with some stuff just with my friends over the summer um, to just have some good times and have some fun. Very good, very good. Um, speaking about NOAC coming up this summer, is there anything you want to say about that? Yeah, for sure. So to all our Sea Scouts out there, um, definitely highly encourage you guys to wear your blue uniforms. Um, we will have a Sea Scout presence at NOAC in some form, and we're trying to get some social events set up um, so we can have Sea Scouts connect and have fun. Uh, most of the current national quarterdeck will be there. And I'm really excited to get to see them in person along with all our other Sea Scouts. And I'm really looking forward to it. It's in Colorado. I've never been there. Uh, get to experience some of the West. Nice. nice. Well, Evan, as your term is concluding soon, is there anything you would like to say to Sea Scouts out there now? Yes. So our program offers a lot of opportunities, truly. And I really want to challenge everyone to put themselves out there, whether it be serving as a bosun, council bosun, applying for the national quarter deck, attending any training or event out there. Really take the time to embrace what you have around you. There's so much you can do in our program. I've really enjoyed serving this year as national bosun. This was a goal I've had for a really long time, ever since I've joined Sea Scouts and watching it come to fruition, meeting people throughout events, um, working with my current team. It truly has changed my life in a lot of ways. And my biggest word of advice is to always do your best because you really get out of it what you put into it, whether that be scouting or life. If you can see it, you can be it. So work on your, to know yourself, uh, set big goals and work to chart your course. Gabby, overall, really proud of you. Congratulations on your amazing scouting journey. I look forward to seeing what you do as our National Sea Scout Bosun for 2024 to 2025. Uh, we'll formally transition that process during the change of watch, but I look forward to work to seeing what you do um, starting June 1st, and I wish you and your quarter deck the absolute best. Thank you. Yeah, goodbye, everyone. Thank you for watching.